Hello, this is a quick tutorial um, using layer groups. To see layer groups or timeline folders in action in After Effects. When I was making this video, which is the instruction video on how to use the plugin, um, I, I realized I was using a, a few techniques that were perfect to illustrate what layer groups can do. Um, so I'll put a link to this uh, video as well if you want to check it out. Okay, so this is the actual project of how I put the video together. There's a few uh, simple elements. Um, all these brown layers are in a group. Um, that's basically the video of me doing a bit of the tutorial, editing out a bit, adding a bit, so on and so forth. So it's um, the bones of it. Okay, so that's the first part I did. So with layer groups, I can, when I'm done with that part of my project, I can collapse everything into group footage. And if I want to go back, I can just edit it there. I don't need to pre-comp it. I can just work in the timeline. So, at different points in the video, I need little messages to pop up here on this, uh, that's that layer, I call it strap. And... I have a bunch of um, text animations. I'll just go, you can see there, um, I have a message that pops up. Okay, so they're little animated pieces of text. So that was the second thing I did. If I expand that group, you can see um, here are all the pieces of text. Okay. Um, I actually have an expression on uh, these, which is quite handy. This layer dot name which means I don't have to edit the text, I just change the name of the layer and it'll update up here, so nice little tip there to keep things tidy. Now, why layer groups works in this instance is if I pre-comped all these layers, it's no good to me because I have to keep timing these little text messages to suit my video. So as I'm illustrating a particular thing in my tutorial video, I need, say, when I'm talking about Creative Cloud compatible, I need that to pop up at a certain time. So I need it in the same timeline as all my footage layers. So with layer groups, I'm now able to do that. I'm able to keep everything in the same composition. But critically, if I hold down Shift and collapse all the groups, I can work in a very tidy manner. So I can just pop into the text layers. Uh, maybe I just need to adjust this guy and I am just need to move it forward a few frames or whatever and then shift collapse. Okay? So I can manage uh, a very complex um, composition with a hell of a lot of layers. There's 63 layers. I'm sure plenty of you out there have compositions with a thousand layers. Uh, if I was at that stage, I think I'd be uh, rendering and bringing in new footage. But it's a lot of information to manage, and Layer Groups allows me to abstract that information and pop it into one group, so I don't have to think about it, I don't have to deal with it, and it helps me not have a meltdown while I'm on a project. Okay? So, this group up here is uh, Shift, so I have a little we go here where it's visible. So basically, I have a little animation where this image pops up to show the user in my tutorial video that I've clicked the shift key. So obviously, all of these guys have to be timed to whenever I talk about, a, you know, a function that requires shift. Okay? So, same as the text layers, I can just work on these and time them out and just make them fit exactly to my footage layers and make sure everything is synced and then when I'm happy with that I, I just need to collapse the group and critically again I don't need to pre-comp um, all those layers because obviously if I pre-comped it I'd have to be jumping into another composition or maybe have two compositions open up here and timing one to the other um, this is just a much simpler way of managing a lot of information. Okay? So, there are the shift layers, group shift, group text, and group footage. 
Um, of course, I don't have to have everything in groups, so these are just other layers that I want to keep visible. It's easier for me to work on them, you know. Uh, down the bottom here, then, I had have some piano music playing in the background. Um, so you can see all those layers there. Um, you know, I want to keep these live in this composition as well, because, for instance, I added a little video to the end of it. Uh, and then I needed to just pop in here and duplicate one of them to make it longer as opposed to a pre-comp where I would have to go back and extend the pre-comp and be hopping into another comp and back into this one and back into the other one. And then of course another advantage is I just have one composition. So in my project folder I just have one composition and that's it. Um, so I don't have, you know, five different comps feeding into each other and you know worrying about name conventions and all that kind of thing. So I thought this was quite illustrative of how uh, layer groups helped me um, with this simple project of making a tutorial for YouTube. Um, so that's uh, one use of layer groups.